Right, this is a new area. Here's my friend again. Or, no, this is my friend. You guys still battling it out? That's what keeps a marriage alive and kicking, Ray. He just looks yeah, what like can we that do guy. You for? The works. Come and ride up. You know anything about politics, Ray? Famous quotes, things like that? I try not to. How about the checker speech? Never heard of it. Well, Hoover's checker speech. Nixon's checker speech. <laughs> You're forgetting a lot, your old age. <laughs> right behind you, lady. Oh, snap. I found this wrapper. Yeah, that's from one of our dogs. Cool. You know where I could score some cheese? Like this stuff? <laughs> Boy, don't flesh that around here. He's the police, Hey, man, you know where baby? I can score some cheese? Besides, the kids today, <laughs> just as soon twist a knife in your backside <laughs> as to ask Virginia for the tram home. Show that cheese around here. You become a marked man. Who sells it? No, we aren't asking for any trouble, Ray. I'm not working, Bunko. <laughs> I just want some information. That nutty board who runs Kingston Kitchen. She's always bragging about her special ingredient. <laughs> that stew she makes. It always did taste a little gamey. Uh -oh. And she charges an arm and leg for it, too. Bro, it's gamey stew. Bye, Brooke here. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun. Yeah, the voice acting is pretty nice. I agree. Uh, okay, so this is where that rapper came from. Whoa, whoa. Nobody cares if I pull my gun out because I'm police. Police. Policia. Solon Spud, thanks for following. Welcome. Uh. Did that update my thingy thing? Yeah, liking dogs. And then he didn't he also give me one too. That nutty board who runs Kingston Kitchen. She's always bragging about her special ingredient. That stew she makes. It always did taste a little gamey. What do you think's in it? Humans. <gasps> Wow. Sounds like a carnival around here. I agree, this does feel like a very relaxing game. Point and click adventures do that. They're very chill. Except in the epic chase scenes. <laughs> Those are epic. I can't go in there? Oh, that's the exit. Well, let's look around. Ooh, this looks so fun. The Hall of Mirrors. Ooh. Oh my god. I really want there to be a chase scene that goes through the Hall of Mirrors. I feel like that would be perfect. Whoa. Okay. Hall of Mirrors. This is more like the Hall of Trash. Is that a pathway? Probably not. That's that's not. Maybe we have to go into the darkness though. How is this even the Hall of Mirrors? There's nothing there apparently. Guessing I need to come back here later. I bet you, I'd be willing to bet you that we're gonna chase a bad guy and he's gonna run in here and then we're gonna have to follow him through this maze. <laughs> I can't actually go anywhere though. Oh wait. Why are you walking so slow? Where am I? Oh, there I am. I feel 
like I'm wasting my time right now. Okay. Let's just leave. <laughs> Can I just click here and have him go? Wait, wait. You're telling me you can get back there from here? Oh. That's good to know, I suppose. How do I leave? Also a good question. Pretty sure I came from right here. Oh, wait a sec. I can't go back? Where are you going? Oh. I'm learning for the future when we inevitably have to come back here. Okay, sure. Why not? Go this way. And that just goes out here. All right, well, let's go into the used cars. It's a killer, I kid you not. Only 35 thou. Yeah, red, orange, blue, puke green, any color you want. Puke Just give me 24 green. to hose the graffiti off. Just kidding. Ask for the man, Crazy Legs Larry, to Lou. Admiring that bishy cat, ain't you? I don't blame you. It's a classic ride in a deluxe sport package. It'll push 125 without so much as a shake. Of course, you gotta find the road for it. That's always the problem. Crazy Legs, Larry Hirsch. Pleased to meet you. Ray McCoy. You can call me Crazy, you can call me Larry. You can even call me Crazy Legs Larry. What about... But don't call me if you don't think a hot set of wheels ain't necessary. <laughs> okay. The Bishi's exceptional. Mechanical is Pacific Rim flawless, as usual. But they also save some of the classic styling of the old GM days. Looks like a piece of work. Forget those fibroplast Filipino heaps everyone's driving around. This is real. Just feast your eyes on this. You see it? You see it? That's actual chrome, the real stuff. They saved a couple hundred sheets of Tijuana chrome from before the war. It's completely legal and everything. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen it before. And you probably won't ever see it again unless you steal this puppy. And honestly, no. Frankly, I gotta tell you, it's got your name written all over it. Ray McCovey. McCoy. <laughs> uh, give it, take a couple letters. McCovey. I'll have to think about it. But don't think too long or too hard about it, Roy. It's liable to be gonzo by the time you come back. Gotcha. I'm sure it is. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we kids or what, Ray? You're talking to Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch here. I take that as a yes. You can take it any way you want. Just don't take it for a test drive in the fourth sector. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Oh, I take that as a yes. You can take it any way you want. I'm gonna push the button. I keep your paws off that, Ray. 
I keep your paws off that, Ray. Let's distract him so we can put our paws on it. Hmm. Excuse me. Whoa! And then he's got some flying cars up here. Wait, what's this one? Locked. That sucks. It does? Looks pretty fancy to me. <laughs> Jammed. Locked. Okay. Hello? Hey, Ray, how you doing? Just fine, crazy. You've been thinking about the cat, haven't you? I don't blame you. She keeps me up at night, too. And I ain't ever even lip-wrestled in the back seat. Which is definitely what's in the cards for a stud of your caliber. Throw in a babe and maybe you got a deal. No sweat. I'll have one over in a jiffy. Not just kidding. Yeah, just kidding. Hmm. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we kids or what? I take that as a yes. You can take it anyway. I keep your pop. Okay. Well, I suppose we just have to come back then, because there's not much we can do here at the moment. I think we should go back to the Jamaican restaurant. And, well, I mean, it's not really a restaurant, but you know. Go back and uh, ask her about her stew. Her gamey stew. So that's about the only lead that I got here. Also, haven't gone to the nightclub, but let's get this over with first. I think it's here. <laughs> Izzo's dead body. Yeah, let's see if he's still there. <laughs> Hopefully, someone's cleaned him up by now. Oh, yeah. Let's also ask this lady if she's got any information yet. Any luck finding more of that dragonfly jewelry? Ah, see, see. Oh. I was right. Piece you show me was part of a collection. Bought for a nightclub in Fourth Sector. You know the name of the nightclub owner? No, senor. But my friend, he says the man is not selling. Thanks for your help. Perfect. Well, that's probably the nightclub we were already going to go to. Pour me one. Just <laughs> one? One, but one good one. Mia and Murray tell me you're using cheese in your stew. Real cheese. Demo cheese buzzards. is not gaming. What they know? No, 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 no. I could take a sample of that stew you're cooking back to the lab and have it tested. Why you pick on Mama Isabella? I never do you know her. Where'd you get it? My sister. She got connections. Where can I find her? She back in Jamaica, man. Far away from here. She send me cheese once, maybe twice a month. You know, funny thing you asking about the cheese. Last week, this ugly little man, he run by, grab whole box of empty takeout cartons right off the counter. Police next door, they just laugh. Say the guy not be so happy when he opened them cartons. <laughs> What's that have to do with the cheese? Cheese hidden in that box, man. Keeping it safe till I cook up a new batch. So how could I tell police to bring back box? They find cheese, they shut me down. This guy who robbed you, what did he look like? Shard. Real shard. 
Bad clothes. Real Colors shark. way too bright. Funny bow tie. Maybe you look for this ugly little Divya? Mm. I'm thinking mm. you not really care about the cheese. You're right. The but I still think you ought to get yourself a different secret ingredient. You bet, man. That cheese been nothing but trouble for Mama Isabella. Thanks for your time. Bye, Judy. Have a good day at work. Happy holidays. All right. So... We already knew that they were the ones that did that. So that's not, like, super useful. I could go back to the Barrymore. I mean, it's possible that it unlocked something. Is this... Can I go in here yet? Locked. Darn it. Snake guy's gone. All right, let's go to the nightclub. It's our next lead. Club PG. PG 13 if you're lucky. <laughs> Live XX at girls. That's not rated PG. I remember early Q used to call himself a humanitarian because he'd recruit orphans for a sex club, then donate a percentage of their salary to his favorite animal propagation lab. Yeah, he was a real piece of work. <laughs> wow. He's going to walk right up to her? How old are you? Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. Not the talkative type. She's in the middle of her routine, McCoy. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> hey, Hanoi, where's Early? Off World Fat Farm. <laughs> you can do better than that. No, it's true. Mr. Q sent me a vid just yesterday. Yeah, the hell of a tan he is. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. I thought she was like glitching out. <laughs> like just T pose sliding. <laughs> Alright, let's use our cool pickup lines on this lady. What's your name? What's your name? How old are you? What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? That's it? That's all you have? What's your name? Jesus. Very disappointing, McCoy. What's your pleasure, sir? The highest octane. <laughs> One Venus flytrap coming up. Venus flytrap? I wouldn't drink that. Sounds disgusting. Hey, is this that one guy that was in the suit that ran into us before? The red suit? What's the green? Neptune's nip. I think you'll enjoy it, sir. Hit me again. You pick the color. Ah, to a ten, ten a two. Why is it called that? Let's just say, it's a love potion. Wow, I'm sure it is. 
Maybe I can talk to this lady What's now. your name? Nope. What's your name? I don't think it's gonna work. Early, how's it hanging? Thick, slick, and hard as a brick. How's yours, General? Your man gave me a hard time out there. Thick, slick, and hard yeah, as a I brick. like Hanoi, but I can't deny his sphincter's a little tight. What's on tap tonight? Classy shows all evening, General. You're gonna be able to cut diamonds down there. Oh, your money back. You buy some jewelry at an auction recently? Real old, elite stuff? Who's asking? You ain't for robbery, honest. No, sir. Nah, those pieces ain't hot. I got the papers to prove it. I picked them up at legitimate auction. Cost me nearly a pound of flesh, too. You give this stuff to a girlfriend early? You kidding? I ain't that stupid. No, 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 no. I was letting one of my dancers use the stuff in her act. Kind of a tribute to the ancient swamp lands, you know what I mean? Which dancer? Heck, give her. She's going on in a few. She's one of my biggest earners, too. She ain't in any trouble now, is she? Not yet. Good. Good. I want to slaughter the goose that lays them golden eggs. Why did he automatically assume I was with homicide? Or... That was weird. Who wants to know you ain't with homicide, are ya? Cause it's definitely involving a dead person. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're not with homicide? Oh, yeah, I bought those things, sure. Anything else? Where are you going? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, oh. yours truly the ever a brilliant early few presents the wondrous, mysterious Hecuba. Singing and performing the sacred and that most dance of the ancient swamp. I'm guessing that's gonna be this way. Whoa, she is a dragonfly. No wonder she wanted those. Let's ask her what her name is. Look, but don't touch. I just wanted to yell at her and be like, what's your name? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and they just kicked me out for clicking on her. <laughs> oh, funny. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no... Fine, I'll go this way again. again oh we missed the show damn it <sighs> maybe she'll be up here is this go to the dressing rooms Like it could be important. No pixels. I feel like there's nothing to click on up here. You gotta be kidding me.
way to go is back. What's your name? There is not as much to do here as I thought there would be. Early's waiting on me. Sort sort off. That's called sticky. I just realized that. That's disgusting. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, there's my friend again. Hey, man. You're that cat from How He Leaves. McCoy, right? We keep bumping into each other. You want an autograph? I know you ain't heard of me yet, but Gordo Frizz's autograph's gonna be worth a pile of chinyan someday. I'll hold my breath. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Man, don't you got anything better to do than hassle innocent people at their place of work? Make it snappy, okay? I really appreciate your patience. You like cheese, Gordo? Ain't that bad, man. My jokes are fresh, real hip. No, I mean real cheese. Dairy products, <laughs> you know, from Kingston Kitchen. So you're wasting shoplifters instead of replicants these days? Than an admission of guilt? For crying out loud. Can't a guy make a living in this Fakakta place without being hassled? You know a girl named Lucy Gordo? You steal that cheese for her, maybe? My man, it's showtime. Your friends are replicants, Gordo. What else would I find if I turned over the rock? Gotta go, daddy-o! Maybe he's a replicant. Gotta go, daddy-o! Everybody having a good time tonight? No. This place sucks. What does a marriage and a tornado have in common? First, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, and then you lose your house. You know what my first wife's nickname was? What? Twister. A doctor calls up his patient. I got bad news and I got worse news. The bad news is you only got 24 hours to live. The patient says, what? Worse than that, the doctor says, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. <laughs> Guess what happens to a replicant who does his job really well? Early retirement, baby. I see we got a celebrity in the audience. Can I get a spot, please? That's right. It's one of the boys from the local Blade Runner <laughs> unit. One of the LPD's finest, Ray McCoy. Let's give a big hand for Rep Detect McCoy. He's protecting us poor slobs, ladies and gentlemen. He even thinks you're a replicant. He can waste you right where you stand. Nice job, eh, detective? It doesn't quite work that way. Doesn't, eh? What if I pretended to be a replicant? That's just an excuse for your lousy act, Gordo? <laughs> <laughs> nice. That snake dancer that worked here, Zora, she was a rep. And her picture's gonna be on every front page tomorrow. Too bad she'll never read it. How are you sure someone's a rep, detective? There's a test. Test? What replicant's gonna sit still for a test? If I'm trying to question someone and he runs, that's a pretty good sign. Could be a pretty good sign that you need to bathe more often. <laughs> Um, game? Damn. No game. <laughs> no game. I wanted to follow him. Why do, Why can't I go that way? Okay, well, I... Oh, do what you gotta do, is. McCoy. If you gotta shoot, that's cool. No, I, I, I have a feeling I know where this is going. Come on, McCoy. Why don't you make me famous? 
Get off it. You're no replicant. How do you know? I could be a martyr for the cause, baby. Every rep I've ever seen wants to live, not die, pal. What are you, an expert? I've been around. You may not be a rep, but you're a damn rep sympathizer for sure. Now we're gonna take a little ride downtown. Yeah, and what? You'll put me on that Voight Kampf machine? Yeah. My 15 minutes of fame, baby. It ain't as good as being gunned down in the street, but what the hell. Oh. Okay, I thought we were gonna have a better chase scene than that. All right, let's save before we do this. Cause I still you keeping busy, know what I'm pal? Doing. Show's over, baby, and there ain't gonna be no encore. What? You keeping busy, pal? Show's over, baby. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me a- Okay. <laughs> well. We're at the police station. Uh, let's check in with everyone. Lab guy is still on a lunch break. Of course. Uploading. Personal clue database. Oh, again, Killa, thank you so much for the resub. Very much appreciated. Jeez. The mainframe confirmed what I'd already guessed. The car from Chinatown was the same vehicle that had smacked the hydrant at Runciter's. Uh -huh. The car was registered to a Blake Williams. Problem was, there was no Blake Williams. Something about the name was familiar, but I couldn't place it. I was back to square one. The only lead I had left was that Williams had bought the vehicle from a used car lot in the fourth sector. Okay, well, we were already there. Finally, we get to check. We got to check the plates, huh? Uploading personal da clue database. We don't think we have any new photos. Uh, uh, uh? Moon bus. Wait, where did I get this? Uh, okay. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. Got his booties on. Sam Boots. Military style. Uh huh. Same guy. Give me a hard copy of that. So, what? They're trying to leave? That can't be me. Give me a hard copy of that. Ah. It, I mean, it looks like McCoy with like dead, especially dead eyes. That can't be me. Did they make me into a replicant? That would be truly evil. <laughs> Okay. I don't even know where I got that photo. Huh. Alright. Well, do I have any new information? The car was registered to a Blake Williams. Problem was, there was no Blake Williams. Something about the name was familiar, but I couldn't play. That guy sure gets around. You like cheese, Gordo? So you're wasting shoplifters instead of- That can't be me. I love that line, because doesn't Gordo mean, mean like, fat as well? 
You like cheese, Gordo? <laughs> you know, funny thing you asking about the cheese. Last week, this ugly little man he run by, grab whole box of empty takeout cartons right off the counter. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet. Why did you say that like that? Like, you keeping busy, pal? Like, I know you're up to something, Mr. Shooting Range guy. Ground floor. Um, uh, we might as well check in. Photo was in the replicant's hideout. Oh, was it? I don't even remember picking it up. Okie doke. Well, off we go. So we could go to the Barrymore or we could go to the car salesman place. Let's go to the car salesman place first. Because Barrymore might have some problems. Roof. There might be an encounter there, you know? That is what it's called, right? Bradbury, sorry. He's calling it the Barrymore. I meant Bradbury. <laughs> One of those big hotel names. You know, it starts with a B. Um, what was I going to do? Animoid Row, Runsitters, Chinatown. Um, yeah. Hysteria Hall. Was this where it was? I think so. Hello, this is Bradbury. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh my god, what if the chase scene is with this guy? <laughs> That would be amazing. You sell a black sedan a few days ago? Family type cars ain't my specialty. I can hook you up though if that's really what you want. You sold this to a Blake Williams. I've seen the registration. Oh, oh, that, that sedan. Blake Williams is a fake name. You just never know about some people. Did you forget to run a credit check? He paid cash. And people come in here and buy cars with cash every day. In this neighborhood, every hour's more like it. But then again, I do have the best selection in town. What'd this guy look like? Nothing special. Beard, dark hair, had these eyes, kind of... Piercing? Yeah, pretty scary. But, heck, I never turn away a customer. Piercing eyes. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we kids or what? I take that as a yes. You can take it any way you want. Just don't take it for a test drive in the fourth sec. Okay. Hmm. I keep your. Maybe now we go upstairs? Locked. No? Well, that was not very conclusive at all. I guess we'll go to the Bradbury. Oh, there I am. 
Yep, this is that game. It is now out on GOG. You can purchase it and play it yourself. Just released yesterday, so pretty exciting. <laughs> Thank you, Yagso. Hello? Did I go down here before? Oh, okay. Never mind. You just have the option of taking the elevator or the stairs. Yes? I'm looking for J.F. Sebastian. That's me. McCoy, LPD. You had a break in? I, I don't think I called anyone. I was already here. I was chasing one of the perpetrators. Well, everything's all right now. I'm pretty sure I can handle it. You may think you can, but believe me, you can't. Better if I check it out. Well, if you insist. I don't think they took anything. I don't really have anything here of any value. You work for Tyrell Corporation? Yes, sir. I'm one of the principal design engineers for Dr. Tyrell. He's a very nice man. You know, he even fronted me the money to buy this building. It's a landmark, you know. You really should see the front edifice. They put some amazing detail into it. You feeling all right? Oh, sure. I'm fine. You wouldn't be hiding anybody, would you? No, sir. There's nobody here but me and my friends. What friends? Those friends. Good evening, General. <laughs> See? I make friends. Uh-huh. He almost looks real. He's plenty real enough for me. And real good company, too. Look, I gotta check the premises again. Maybe they left something behind. Well, if you want to take a look, go on ahead. I can't stop you. But please be careful in my lab. You got it. I know whose voice that is, but like when I watched the Blade Runner movie, I don't think I knew the actor. I don't remember what his name is, but he's also, isn't he also um, in Deadwood too? He's like the really creepy hotel, or he's the mayor, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> he's great though. It is him? Okay, good, yeah. He's in Deadwood and the Bob Newhart show. Oh. I haven't seen that either. The hotelier. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Um, anything else? You sure you don't have much valuable stuff around here? Anything worthwhile, I probably would have sold a long time ago. All this is personal stuff. Wouldn't mean a whole lot to anyone but me. Maybe they were looking for you. Oh, no. I'm nobody. Mm-hmm. She's 18 already. Wow. Okay, well, I'm gonna look around if that's all right with you. It was some kind of freakish toy, half mechanical, half organic, rep technology for sure, but no one was gonna give me any retirement bonus for it. Been here. where we got captured the last time, I think. So, now we can finish exploring. Oh, 
Oh boy. More useless junk. How do you know it's useless junk? It was some kind of freakish TREP technology. Resuming interrupted print job. Where's the printer? I want to see what printed. Nothing more to find. Was it this? DNA research, uh. incept dates, a lot of jargon, <laughs> but I bet my spinner it was valuable to somebody. And you said it was useless, you dumb dumb. It's a printer. Okay. I couldn't tell who was winning, and I didn't much care. Chess was a little slow for me. Uh-huh. Riveting. I didn't have time to stop for synthetic eggs. I remember tasting a real one back when I was a kid. It was like liquid sunshine. Damn tasty. Love eggs. Farm fresh. Only way to go. Oh, yeah. Didn't click this either. It wasn't a rep, and it wasn't human. And it still gave me the willies. Looks like an antique. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it then, huh? You ever work with a Dr. Eisendoller? We're in different fields. I'm in basic biogenetic design and he works on the practical application of off-world physics. He seems to be a very nice man who happens to be dead. Dead? He was murdered, probably by a replicant. But replicants aren't allowed on Terra. But they're here, nonetheless. And who do you think they'll start looking for next? You know the design subcons down on the row, Miraji and Chu? I've heard of them, but I've never seen them. I don't go in for the parties and stuff, and I never go down to the row. It was some kind of freak rep technology. How well do you know Dr. Tyrell? Oh, I'm not sure anyone really knows him. But I can tell you this, he's a great man and a brilliant genetic designer. Dr. Tyrell and I play chess every week. I've only beaten him once. You're in the middle of a game right now? Uh-huh, mm -hmm. you play? I don't have the patience for chess. You play with Dr. Tyrell, you learn something new every time. Such as? Every single move must be taken very seriously. Otherwise, you've lost before you've even begun. Talk to me about the twins. You mean Luther and Lance? They were Dr. Terrell's favorites until he let them go. Nobody really knows why, either. You think they hold a grudge against Tyrell? Maybe, but they're decent fellows, Mr. McCoy. I don't think they'd ever do a mean thing to anybody. They're real smart, too. Almost as smart as Dr. Terrell. Maybe they're too smart to keep around. Too much competition for the old man. Oh, they could never take Dr. Terrell's place. How about this? Do you think they're the type who might help out renegade replicants? You... You're a Blade Runner, aren't you? Bingo. But you said you were here about the burglary. The guys who broke in might be replicants. What in the world would a replicant want from me? You worked on the Nexus 6 series, didn't you? Just a little bit. Would you say that the sixes are smarter than the old fours and fives? They're supposed to be. Stronger and more agile, too. So, maybe they want to learn more about themselves. Maybe they want to pick your brain about their brains. I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Mm. Got the straight scoop for me, or what? I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Uh, too many questions, eh? It looks a little suspicious. Okay. I think I looked everywhere. Ah. Oops. Okay. 
Okay, so I got something. I couldn't tell who was winning, and I didn't much care. Chess was... That's Sebastian's DNA? Oh. All right, well, we can probably go to the lab with that, I guess, huh? Dave, thank you so much for the raid again. How are you doing? How's your stream? Welcome everybody to Blade Runner. Done from Heresy, thank you so much for the resub. Whoop whoop. Thank you, friend. Cheese hype. It was good. Good. What were we playing? What the heck, bro? How long is this guy's damn lunch break? Jeez. Mainframe and shooting range. Another retirement in the fourth sector today as a Blade Runner shot an alleged replicant in the middle of a crowded street. <laughs> Lieutenant Edison Gusa, supervisor of the LPD's Rep DTEC unit, had this to say. It was a good, clean takedown. The public should thank us for retiring these skin jobs before they get into any real trouble. You want to get that thing out of my face before it ends up shooting film where the sun don't shine? Mm-hmm. Uploading personal clue database. We're sort of oblivion. Oh, nice. Database. When it wasn't crashing, yeah. Oblivion loves to crash, that's for sure. Clue database transfer complete. Okay. Okay, nothing new there. Uh, did I get any info from my friend, though? Kind of gathering clues. It's really weird that I. They must have created a replicant after McCoy, you know, as a as a way to just deal with him interfering. Maybe they're gonna frame me for something. That would be rude. You keeping busy, pal? Now. Nah. Only crashed about three times. Oh, hey, well, that's not too bad. <laughs> lock up, ground floor. Um, let's try the lock up. Anything new here? You keeping busy, pal? Shut Nope. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave. Yeah, he does let's call everyone pal. Yep. Uh, um, mainframe and shoot ground floor. The only thing left, we could talk to him. I mean, let's just rule it out since we're here. Just rule it out. I'm not sure where to go next. Maybe to the guy in the frozen lab. Forgot his name. He might be able to help. Chu. Yeah, sure. Yeah, him. Let's see what's available on the map. Maybe there's something new, too. Okay, so we've got Bradbury, DNA Row, Chinatown, Rensselaer's Animals, Animoid Row, Stereo Hall, that's the nightclub, and then the Tyrell building. Have I gotten here yet? I think I have. Yeah, this is where he is. Okay. Let's try this. This is the only thing I could think of to do next. Locked. No! Oh, butts. 
Okay, well. <laughs> Is that guy's body still here? Hey, they cleaned him up. Can we go back in now? Oh shit, we can. All it was right. something you didn't see too often. A precise, shaped explosion fashioned for minimum collateral damage. The son of a bitch was a pro. Someone with real munitions expertise. And that expertise could only come with extensive, on-the-job, off-world training. Mm. Put on your Sherlock Holmes pants. Let's get investigating. Locked. No way through here. Okay. We could probably go upstairs. There's nothing here to investigate. <laughs> um, what is this? Well, there was not a lot to be Sherlocky about in that room, so let's try up here. Shut up. Thank you. Hmm. 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 I've gotten all I can from that. Yeah. I've gotten all I can from that. There's probably not much else up here. I thought there might be another way to get down, but it does not appear to be the case. Are you sure there's nothing in there? I feel like there's gotta be something. Maybe just going in there and looking at it was all we needed to do, you know? Did I get a clue from it? Yes, I It did. was something okay. you didn't see too often. A precise, shaped explosion fashioned for minimum collateral damage. The son of a bitch was a pro. Someone with real munitions expertise. And that expertise could only come with extensive, on-the-job, off-world training. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's pro maybe all we needed. Okay. Ben and Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie. Oh boy. Um, well, when I don't know what to do, I've been just going back to my apartment and it's been working so far. So let's try to do that again. <laughs> Sometimes all you gotta do is have a nap and everything falls into place. Your floor number, please. It's McCoy, 88F. 88, thank you. You're welcome. Hello, pupper. Maggie, come here, girl. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. You get one treat for dinner again. Because I'm so generous. No messages? No messages. I'm in demand. Yeah. During his last election campaign, Governor Colvig promised a bold new plan of action to clean up the worst regions of the highly toxic debris that surrounds our city. The so-called Kipple. Just how much progress has been made since then? We spoke to the governor just before his weekly meeting with the city council. I hate how this is Our only studies in have one shown ear. that the kipple's effect Bobby. upon Los Angeles is minor. The radiation and toxic waste is contained in relatively small pockets, all miles distant from the city center. Nevertheless, cleaning things up out there is a worthwhile goal, especially with the thousands of specials living on the city fringes. For now, all I can say is that we're looking at several options, and I'm sure everyone will be pleasantly surprised by our final proposal. Portrait of the sleep deprived. Okay. It is the next day, I guess. Maggie, come here, girl. Whoa, 
woof woof. All right, bye, Maggie. I don't know where I'm going. Your floor number, please. Roof. Well, there's no one out here to kill me today. That's good. Always a plus. Look at my clues again, really quick here. Okay, so arms dealing, the murder. thinks he, he thinks he's the expert bomber. Uh -huh. Bribery assault. Factory bombing. Moon bus hijack. This is our initial case. The animal murder. The car was registered to a Blake Williams. Problem was, there was no Blake Williams. Something about the name was familiar, but I couldn't place it. I was back to square one. Blake Williams. Hi, Prince Agor. How are you? How would I... I suppose I just need to go ask around. Just talk to people. I wish I could talk to Guza. Let's um, let's actually check like the Terrell building and stuff because we haven't been back there in a bit. A new life awaits you. This is different. Beautiful, isn't it? The owl or the view? Both. The view's amazing. The owl, well, artificial things never did that much for me. It's a flawless replica. We used a real one as a model. Owls are extinct. Who told you the model was real? Dr. Terrell? He's wrong, or lying. Check your Sydneys. Eldon wouldn't make up something like that. You're Tyrell's assistant? Yes, I'm Rachel. Dr. Terrell is very busy. I'm fully familiar with all Terrell operations. He does know I'm a cop, right? Blade Runner unit? Dr. Terrell has already met with one Blade Runner today and has important business to attend to. Was it Harrison? Your department should coordinate its efforts better. Yeah, but... You may speak to me or you may leave. I can't offer you any other choices. Fair enough. I wanted to ask about Marcus Eisendeller. I can't tell you who killed him if that's what you're asking. We've already got a suspect. What I want to know is why the killer would be interested in replicant DNA information. That's a stupid question. You're oh a yeah? Question. Why's that? Your suspect is obviously a replicant. A very dangerous one. I thought replicants were safe. More human than human. Isn't Dr. Tyrell pushing to make it legal to use rep labor to clean up the kipple? Are we here to discuss corporate policy or Marcus Eisendeller's murder? A little of both. You heard about the moon bus hijacking. 
Yeah, I guess you would have. Fifty people dead. You can't blame. I'm surprised you aren't out doing spin control. The public gets nervous when your pets wander around the city without a leash. Replicants aren't pets. Right. Pets live longer and don't go around killing people. They... There are safeguards in the design. Yeah, I've seen the data. Implanted memories of four-year lifespan. I'd probably get a little crazy too, but I don't think I'd start killing people. Wouldn't you? As I explained to Mr. Deckard earlier, I've given the Nexus 6 model a past. I've given it the purity and innocence of childhood. And all the joy and despair that comes with a real existence. That's hardly a death sentence. That's life. I thought you weren't meeting with any more Blade Runners today. Well, I decided to make an exception. Mr. Uh, McCoy, isn't it? You do understand the need for the Nexus 6 to have an identity. Not really. No. I do see why a replicant who has an identity would want to steal Eisendollar's files. Please, enlighten me. They want more life. They're wasting their time. They're gonna come for you, just like they came for Eisendollar. I have nothing to fear from any of my children. I tell them all exactly what I told you. Have I given you what you came here for? I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Then if you'll excuse me, I have a stockholder meeting to attend. Okay, well, we know Rachel is a replicant because of the movie, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, I mean, it was pretty obvious anyway. But now I guess I can just go... Can I go anywhere? Oh. I can't go anywhere? Ah. Oh. Alright. Guess I'm a leaving. Maybe your answers is open again? Where the heck did this guy disappear to? He was, he's such a lying SOB. I really wanted to confront him and it just gone. Locked. <sighs> I've gotten all I can from that. Uh. Maybe Bullet Bob has something for me now. Locked. No! Everywhere's closed. Excuse me, pal. Uh, all right, well. Maybe the police station now because a bunch of plot stuff just happened? I don't know. I also feel like we didn't get anything really at the nightclub. We still haven't gotten to talk to like the guy in charge. I don't know. I also don't feel like we have a good way of doing that yet. But I'm gonna try again. I'm just gonna go around and talk to people in proper point-and-click fashion. Early's waiting on me. Sawed off. Sawed off. PG-14. This yeah. is reserved for VIPs. Oh. But that's my name, Vip. <laughs> You're a real cute boy, Ali. All right, McCoy. All right, so we can't go in there anymore either. Interesting. Do 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 do
The only thing to click on in here is the phone. Damn. Who are you even trying to call? You seen a girl around here, about 14, with pink hair? Maybe in the arcade. I was 14 with pink hair once. <laughs> a long time ago. Don't think he means you. Of course not. Not now. We work outside Hysteria Hall, don't we? Well, we must see 20, 30 girls a day with pink hair. And every other color in the rainbow. Okay. Be good, you two. Be good. I bet the girl with pink hair is uh, who we saw running away from us in uh, the Bradbury. Hall of Mirrors. I don't really want to go back in the Hall of Mirrors. Because it's annoying to get out of it. Last place to check here. I hope you got paperwork for all these. Oh, we. I take that. You can take it. That's the same. Question some peeps here. There's a few people to talk to here. At least there was. This is something to click on too. Ow! Damn it. <laughs> oh, oh no! I warned you, senor. You will surely die. I will? But you're still standing. The poison. It acts very quickly. I ain't feeling so good. If you are not dead already, you will live. Huh. Well, that's good. How's business? Good. Very good. Holiday's coming soon. Everyone wants insects. Yeah, I can't imagine a better stocking stuffer. Strange. Strange. Okay, so I poked myself. Does that help me in some way? Hopefully. <laughs> you never know with point to click games. You never, never know. Uh, actually, I want to go back in there. Thanks for your time. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one.
locked. There's probably just something I miss. I mean, hopefully I'm not in a, a no win situation. That would be annoying. But I'm just gonna visit everywhere because I haven't done that yet. Still haven't cleaned up the soup. I'm not dead ended. Okay, good. I didn't think I was. Nothing even remotely interest. I was gonna root. This goes back to the Bradbury. Some Yuck. disgusting sludge. I think it goes to the Bradbury. Oh no, wait, this just goes to their hideout. Can I get back in there? Wow, I can. Okay, so I guess they've just left this forever then. I did need to go talk to this hotel guy or this guy yeah hey, he's pal, back. you could have done something when that goon had me by the throat call the cops at least you're still walking and breathing aren't you that ain't the point you scratch our back we'll scratch yours nice friggin policy you don't like it get a permit somewhere else lousy cops down the hall on your left what you're a cop right your buddies have already been here room 27 what were they doing here? I don't ask a lot of questions when a badge is shoved in my face. You have a big guy with a strange looking mustache staying here? He worked at Howie Lee's around the corner. I don't break a lot of bread with the class of people that pass through here. But if you want to look around, check out some rooms, be my guest. Okay. Well, gee, thanks. You seen any suspicious types around here lately? Ali, that's all I do see. You think this is a club met or something? You seen any suspicious types around here lately? Ali, that. Hey, moron, I'm right here. You don't have to ring the damn bell. <laughs> hey, moron. <laughs> okay, is this the only. Can I go this way? That leaves. Yeah. Which way to look for. Look at rooms? There's only. Oh, this is the room. Okay. Yeah. This, I don't think I found anything in here before, but maybe now there's something? Nothing. Nothing. No, I found a shell. Nothing. I found like a weird shell thing from the bathtub. That's right. I don't know why there would be anything additional. Nothing. So there's only one room, huh? Pretty small hotel. Nothing else there. Okay, uh, let's just go then, I guess. I don't know. Totally uninteresting. 
totally uninteresting. So that was Chinatown. Bradbury we were just at. Princeton's Animals is closed. Animated Row. Stereo Hall. Nightclub. I'm getting the feeling there's just something small that I've overlooked. Or I'm just forgetting something that exists somewhere that I need to see. Like, what the heck? I have stuff to give this guy. Pretty sure I do. Main frame and shooting range. And what about my friend? Whatever her name is. I haven't gotten any updates from her in a long time. Uploading personal clue database. Download. Clue database transfer complete. Nothing new here. Oh, wait. What I want to know is why the killer would be interested in replicant DNA information. That's a stupid question. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Your suspect is obviously a replicant, a very dangerous one. As I explained to Mr. Deckard earlier, I've given the Nexus 6 model a past. I've given it the purity and innocence of childhood. And all the joy and despair that comes with a real existence. That's hardly a death sentence. That's life. Technically, life is a death sentence, if you think about it. If you want to get deep about it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, like, what the heck? Yeah, crystal. Maybe Crystal is retired. Maybe. He's dead. Moon it's possible that I missed something in this photo. Probably not, though. I got three things. Him, him, and him. Uh, maybe his hand? Like, what is his hand doing? Looks like he's beckoning someone. Like, come here. Come here. I'm not evil. I'm not evil at all. Hey, Mr. Gel, what's going on? Hey, do you know where the scientist guy is? You keeping busy, <laughs> Pam? No. I really, uh, you know, he's been gone for a long time. It's a little worrisome. All right, let's try checking in with the boss who is also apparently in on it. But I haven't gotten to talk to him in a very long time. But we did advance the plot by going to the Tyrell building, so maybe he's back again. Nope, he is not here. Okay. Buffer, thanks so much for gifting a sub to Kakumai. Welcome back, Kakumai. No hi. Thank you so much, Zed Buffer. Greatly appreciated it, friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy holidays. Cheese hype. Is 
Um, oh, man. DNA row. Is there, there's no other place that I just can't see that's got unlocked, right? I don't think so. Although it is pretty hard to see the places you can go to. Hysteria Hall, nightclub. Um. I need to review my clues again. a little strange. Is this guy still closed? Locked. That can't be me. Oh, in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? The rogue skin jobs probably flew to Earth. And one of them is a demolitions expert, similar MO to your Vic upstairs. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like It was something you didn't see too often. A precise, shaped explosion fashioned for minimum collateral damage. The son of a bitch was a pro. Someone with real munitions expertise. And that expertise so could only come with extensive, on-the-job, off-world training. We know that this guy is linked to the nightclub, but when you, there's nothing at the nightclub. I could try going back there, I guess. And he's linked, obviously, to Sebastian because of the box. I need to find the. I need to find Kingston the boxes. Kitchens. Where have I heard that before? Because right, that's why I was. That's why I was at the Bradbury because I was trying to find the dumb boxes. Maybe I missed that somewhere. Cause I. He, she said it was a real short, creepy-looking guy, which can only be Sebastian or one of his little replicant minion guys, right? Unless it's somebody we haven't met yet. Oops. Got the straight scoop for me, or what? I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. I don't want to leave. I got Sebastian's DNA. What the heck am I supposed to do with Sebastian's DNA? Because I can't go to the science guy at the police station. And the frozen guy is closed. The comedian is in jail. Yeah, I confronted him about the cheese. Yep, I did that. He's in jail. I could try interrogating him some more. I never I never got to actually interrogate him. Maybe that is unlocked now that I progressed. Maybe there's something in here I didn't see. I really thought I was going to find the takeout boxes here somewhere. Thank you for following, Bossa. Welcome back, GV. What's up? How was the gym? Okay, I just came from there. Yeah, there's nothing here. Nothing more to find. Nothing more to find. Let's go then. Let's go try and talk to the comedian again. Maximum pump. <laughs> nice. The important thing is that you went, right? OK, 
Okay, let me also double check this burn building in case there's something I didn't see. Is there a pixel in here? Normally the stuff you can actually like uh, interact with or pick up is like obvious. Locked. No way through here. Could try shooting stuff. I haven't really tried that very much. You know where to go to advance the plot. We're not at a dead end. Fabulous. I wonder if I just... I'm worried now. I'm trying to think of all the stuff I could have, like, used my gun on, maybe. Okay, first, um, first, let me just go talk to this cop. You can't. It has to be like a. The reticle has to turn red. There was that locked door. Um. In, was it in Animoid Row, uh, Izzo's place I couldn't get into? Maybe I could shoot that open. Locker. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try just in case. It's different. Don't shoot. You keeping busy, pal? Show's over, baby! And there ain't gonna be no encore! Great. Thanks for the information. All right, we're gonna go try that because that's the only thing I can think of right now. What about the ba- e No. What about the basements near my apartment? That I know that just leads somewhere else, but I haven't gone to that scene in a while. Um, let's try this first though. China town. No, it's Animoid Row, right? Yeah. No, we are another Blade Runner named McCoy, but apparently this story is kind of happening linearly to uh, Deckard's story. Okay. Uh. Let me ch let me save first in case I screw everything up. I don't even know if this is going to do anything, but maybe. There's a whole place down here. Okay. Victory! How wonderful! <laughs> Are so well, thank you so much! Victory! There were off-world rifles here and more. Grenades, mm. explosives, modern rifles, even some police issue restricted weaponry. Izo wasn't some small time fence, but a big time arms dealer. The exact arms that renegade replicants would be looking for to survive in the big city. Nothing else there. Nothing else there. Were those the, like, the, the weapons that we, that were used though? Sewer level! Woot! Oh boy. Okay, that helps me, I guess. I can go up to the street, or I can go this way. just gave me like really strong Batman vibes for some reason. Um. <laughs> That's impossible. Why are you so out of breath? <laughs> okay, so there's another way to get down here then. 
That's impossible. <laughs> the Riddler's hideout, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> um. Oh. It's right below Bob's Lock. bullets. Bullet Bob's. And of course, I can't question him about it because he's closed. Damn it, Bullet Bob. So, what if I turn this on? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I can't. Okay. Well, can I shoot the lever? I mean, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's a point-and-click adventure game, so... No, I can't. All right. Well, that's probably for the best. <laughs> that's impossible. What the hell? All right, so now that I know there's a sewer entrance there, maybe there's more sewer entrances around this area that I should... Hmm. Looking for? That definitely wasn't a thing I could do before, I don't think. But let's have a look around. Strange. How's business? Good. Very good. Holiday's coming soon. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost Christmas, don't you know? Cheese miss is upon us. Hmm. Is there something in this area that I can interact with? door? Where does this go? Apparently nowhere. What did I click on? Oh, okay. So there's up. That's the only way I can go. Oh, oh. Nothing else there. Alright, never mind. Yeah, he just leaves the door open. Yeah, I mean, I guess since he's a police officer, he doesn't give a crap. Okay. I want to look for more sewer entrances. Thanks for your time. farther down the street this way, we just get here. What about the other way? It would make sense if there was one below here. Oh, I wish I could go in here! That, Lock. that looks like a grate, but I can't do anything with it. Interesting. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, I was gonna. So, where did I put my car? Bullet Bob, you home yet? Locked. Freaking Bullet Bob. Everyone just goes out to lunch. 
for like days at a time. It's like they're trying to hide from me. Holy shit! Ever Wyvern, thank you so much. Hey there, Big G's. Thanks for bringing all the interesting content that has, that scratches the nostalgia itch. You rock socks like duplo block, duplo blocks. Hey, <laughs> cheesy. Oh, thank you so much, Ever Wyvern. That is super, extremely generous, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Cheese hype. Can we get some extra super cheesy hype? and cheesy hearts in the chat for Aver Wyvern. And also I'm just gonna add all of my Christmas emotes. Yay! Thank you so much, Aver Wyvern. Oh, even some Dorko love. Awesome. <laughs> By the way, GB, I took your advice and did the, like, uh, the mod your, or permanent sub for your bot thing. So I didn't even notice. I think Streamlabs. Streamlabs is supposed to be a subscriber. Yeah, they are. Okay, <laughs> good. Yeah, cool. So now I can use the bot to show off all my emotes like you have in your stream. I'm excited. I'm learning so much from you. <laughs> anyway, thank you so very much again, Ever Wyvern. And Merry Cheesemas. Happy Cheesemas. Alright. Anywho. Um, okay, that's just that. I guess we'll go to another area and look around for some more sewers. Wait, that person is there. Hang on a sec. Uh, where am I here? Okay, I just want to come back. No, where? Are you? No, where are you going? Come back, dum dum. This shop person was back. There he is. Ask him. Where the heck did McCoy go? McCoy, what are you doing? McCoy, where the frick did he? We just ran over there for some reason. There you go. Okay, what the hell? Is this scale from a fish? Oh, there we go. Same as other one. Ugh. Not fish. Snake scale. What other one? Snake scale. Other police show me scale from same there snake. There was a snake guy over I there. I him to He's Abdul, gone. Hassan. Abdul Hassan. How could you tell I was police? Both of you walking around look confused, like you in wrong place. Um. Okay, well, there was a snake guy standing um, over here before. Now he's not there anymore, though. Anything unusual happening down here? Ah, uh, business slow today. But tonight, my people bring over baby barracudas. They're very cute. You should buy. I'll pass. Barracuda. No, thanks. You know, you shouldn't hide under your tent so often. I didn't even realize you were there, so I didn't talk to you. I found that stupid scale a really long time ago. Anything unusual happened? Ah, uh, business slow today. Very. I'll pass. Okay, so we got that done. Great. Maybe we could ask this lady about the snake guy. Because, you know, he was standing over here. How's business? Good holidays. Yeah. No, okay. Balls. McCoy, LPD. No, I didn't. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Um. Let's see. So we're here, right? Maybe Chinatown has a sewer? I mean, there is that area with the toxic sludge barrel in it that just leads to the hideout. Possibly there's a way to get to the sewer that I could find down here.
This looks like a good place for a sewer. What if I go this way? So. <laughs> the green soup. Ugh. They're eating sewer sludge. That's so disgusting. Okay, this is what I was thinking of. Yuck. Yeah, but there isn't really any other place to go here. Uh, this just leads outside. Is there a sewer here? No. It is interesting how it's all kind of connected. And it did look like some nearby area would have a way to get down. Or there would maybe be a way for me to manipulate the lever from afar. But shooting it didn't work, so I don't know. I, it's not like I can actually use things on things in this game. It's not really, it's not really like that kind of point and click game. There's no use item stratagems in it, which is different. It's like, click on something or shoot something. Those are your two options. Is this open yet? Locked. Harvester? Yeah, I would like to play that some more, for sure. Here's a definite sewer grate, but you can't get into it. Man, I keep finding stuff, but then, but then I'm like still without a lead that goes anywhere else. Did they say if the snake was real or from a replicant? Um, good question. Let me read what she said again. Or fish lady interview. Same as other one, not fish. Snake scale. Other police show me scale from same snake. Other police show me scale from scale from same snake. I mean, they could have got it from the same place I got it from because I got it from the room that they searched in the bathtub. There were off-world rifles here and more. You know what? We should go back to that hotel since that's where I got the snake scale. Let's talk to this guy one more time, though. Got the straight scoop for me, or what? I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Yeah, we could definitely try the lab again. Maybe he, the scientist guy is out, out done with his lunch break now. <laughs> God, where did I put my car? Is it out here? I not come from this way, game? Why can't I leave? Oh, I guess I didn't come from that way. Let's go ask in the hotel. Hey, man. You seen any suspicious types around here lately? Ollie, that's all I do see. Uh, right. I think we should go back to the police station.
Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Was that something? I thought I saw a shiny thing. Nope. False alarm. Oh, good. My car's here. Okay. <laughs> thought I lost my car. Does the movie hold up? Yeah, I watched it a few years ago and I really liked it. I kind of want to rewatch it. Because I forgot a lot of stuff. Uh, police station. guy. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Okay. I don't think there was any new photos, but I just have to check anyway. You never know. Did I get any new uploaded stuff? No. I've gotten all I can from that. You keeping busy? No. Okay, the only other thing we can really do here is try and report in. So we'll try it before moving on. We failed to report in. One of these douchebags in the basement knows about the snake. You keep in biz. Shut. You keep in. Please leave me. Nope. Okay, um, let's see if we have any voice messages. Maybe we might have some a voicemail. I haven't checked that in a while. floor number please I'm still making little progress it's McCoy, not like I've been stuck for a super long 88. time 88 thank you just the progress I've been making is kind of spaced out <laughs> hi pup I just need to see if I have any messages nope no messages I'm in demand let's take a nap Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. Is it ever daytime? Does McCoy just sleep during the day? Your floor number, please. Let's see what's down the, down the basement. Or on the street. Maybe there's a sewer entrance down here. Because there was nothing here before. Don't see one. No. 
Worth a shot. Your floor number, please. It's never daytime. <laughs> Not sure what it seems like. The daytime doesn't exist. Try the nightclub again. <laughs> Jolly Lewis. I mean, I could try going into the House of Mirrors again. I kind of avoided that before. What's your name? How old are you? Haven't I seen you around here before? Not the talkative type. How old are you? Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. Haven't I seen you around here before? <laughs> What's a stripper like you doing in a place like this? Oh, wait. Early's waiting on me. Sawed off. You suck, dude. Sawed off, look. <laughs> They're working harder than the forensics guy ever did. Yeah. That's for sure. In your car. Thank you. Okay, where was the house of stupid mirrors again? Here? Be good, you two. Be good. Don't be breaking any rules and adding cheese to your meals. That would be terrible. Because cheese is illegal. All right. Let's see if there's anything new in here. Sure doesn't look like it. <laughs> Well, that was a mistake. I know. I wish it had at least one mirror, too. <laughs> then at least it would make sort of sense. Okay, uh, car salesman guy maybe again? There was his rooftop, which didn't have anything. I want him to, I need him to leave, is the thing. So I can click on this. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Oh, I take that, you can take it. Hmm. Maybe there's a pixel in here I didn't click on. Can't do this. I keep you. I keep your paws off of there. I want to go back there too. Maybe I can shoot a car up here and make him, uh, you know, come and investigate somehow in his wheelchair. He's probably got a jetpack on it or something, you know. Mm, 
Also, what about this floor? It looks like the floor moves. I don't trust that guy. Just roll him away. <laughs> yeah, just push him like in Sherlock Holmes. Push him into the next scene. <laughs> Oh, hey, we get this scene again. Maybe I can t ask this guy some more questions. You got an appointment this time? No. Nope. So why are you here? I don't know. Cuz? Cuz I can be? So, anyone else explode around here lately? I eat any more of that cafeteria food my stomach's liable to. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, sir. You gonna throw me out? If need be. Why? So, anyone else explode? I eat I'm gonna have- You gonna throw- If need- why? But I'm cool. Why would you want to throw me out? I'm like the coolest. And stuff. <laughs> Locked. <laughs> what am I missing? Got the snake scale. Look at my clues. Clues again. Where am I? Wait, actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here again. Funny thing you asking about the cheese. Last week, this ugly little man he run by, grab whole box of empty takeout cartons right off the counter. Cheese hidden in. You like cheese, Gordo? So you're wasting shoplifters instead of replicants these days? For crying out loud. Can't a guy make a living in this fakakta place without being hassled? Why haven't I been able to say, like, uh, you know, interview him at all, or interrogate him. Seems like it would be important, because he clearly has information. I'm feeling like I might have missed something in this sewer thing. Bloody soap, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming. Can we shoot anything else? <laughs> I'm just at the point where I'm just gonna try shooting everything. What could go wrong? Bang, bang. Yeah, the voice acting's real good. So I turned off the goo, the goo gas. Get up there. I don't see any other pixels. Hmm. That's not a snake, is it? Wait, is it? Hmm. Wait, no, it's a, is it? Hmm. No, it's like a pipe, right? 
Why is he only saying, hmm? Hmm. What is that noise? That scary noise. Yeah, I don't think it is. It just looked like one for a second, you know? Because I'm looking for a snake. I'm lo this, I got snake on the brain. Alright, is there anything else we could shoot in here? That's impossible. So impossible. If only I could reach this. Hmm. 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 If only there was another entrance somewhere to the sewer so I could get over there, or maybe over there, or maybe uh, over there. Okay. I do not think that will work. Locked. Are you taking any drugs? <laughs> Why do you just ask a random passerby that question? <laughs> what the hell? How old are you? Are you taking any drugs? <laughs> I need to ask you. McCoy, LPD. <laughs> McCoy, LPD. Does this badge mean anything to you? No, clearly it doesn't, McCoy. Clearly nobody gives a shit. Might be to the point where I want a hint. Maybe. Because I don't seem to be. I seem to be a little stuck now. There's a good mild hint? Okay, sure. Give me a good mild hint. That's fine. Anything unusual happening down here? I haven't heard much. We've all been very quiet. in the nightclub. Ah, okay. Let's head there. Alright, that's the only hint I want from now. Thank you, Sullen. It's bud. <laughs> Let's look at the area nailed down. Must be a pixel I missed then. A missing pixel. So there's two areas. There's this area that has a telephone, so I'll try interacting with that. And then this is the actual, like, nightclub club. Nobody's home. No idea who he's trying to call at all, but nobody's home. Uh, I, I, I'm on like chapter four or something. I don't know how long the game is, but it's pretty great. I'm enjoying it. It's a good point to quit game. And if you've seen the movie, there sure is, uh, it's very accurate. Lots of similar characters and stuff. Okay. I just sneak behind him or something when he's not looking. Hey, turn back around, bud. I mean, pal. I'll just 
just wait till he patrols back. Is he gonna go back? I mean, I'm technically behind him right now. <laughs> Shut up, McCoy. I've got no time. Early's waiting on sod off. Sod off. Kick me out. Aww. What? Thought I was doing it. <laughs> Oops, I right clicks. <laughs> Don't want to bring your guy, uh, take your gun out in a nightclub. That's a good way to get arrested. Maybe he, does he follow me? What, he, what his patrol is, but I'm gonna try one more time to sneak back behind him. Damn it! <laughs> he is kind of following me, isn't he? A little bit. Yeah. lead him away. What if I go over here? doing anything. <laughs> Clearly he's stopping me. Early's waiting on me. No, I don't think that's it. He definitely just blocking me, even though he doesn't say anything anymore. A distraction? I don't see any other pixels to click. Can't go in here, right? Oh, this works again! 
Okay, this didn't work last time. Maybe this, maybe it's in here. Freaking lady. What's your name? What's your name? Hit me again. You pick the color. Ah, to a 10, 10 to 2. Why is it called that? Let's just sit. Just give me the drink. Let's go on the spinny floor. Woo! What's your name? Spinny floor. Um, <laughs> is there anything else happening in here yet? No. Maybe there's more stuff up here now, though. Because now I can get back here again. There was some empty rooms up here that looked a little shady earlier. Maybe there's a pixel I missed in here. Like this machine looks important. Pixel, 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 pixel. When I came up here the first time, I could not believe there was nothing here. It looks like a place that there is a thing. And yet, I do not see a pixel. No other way to go. Hmm, maybe I shoot something. Maybe I can shoot this. Shoot. out the window or something like no ceiling pixels no Walk over there. Wait. Oh. Backstage? Did I miss this? What are you doing? Go. <gasps> I missed this before. I didn't hear a knock. I just wanted to say, wow, you were awe-inspiring. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, before much, I got kicked out, Mr. I was really impressed. <laughs> McCoy. Uh, Ray McCoy. Is there something I can do for you, Mr. McCoy? Oh, thank God. All right. Um, yes, probably. They had such an unusual belt as an antique. They say it's from the last century. What happened to his voice? Those little creatures have always been my favorites. Dragonflies? Yes. And the whole class that contains them. Tell you the truth, I'm from the LPD. I'd like to ask you a few questions if I could. Is this about early Q? Because I could tell you. Did any other pieces come with the belt? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Um. There's a little test I'd like you to take. Do you think I'm a replicant? Yes. Is that what this is about? Yes. If it's early Q, I'll help you any way you want. Not exactly. This is insane. I have a family, a daughter for heaven's sake. 
Look, I'm willing to testify against early Q. A replicant wouldn't do that, would it? A replicant doesn't necessarily care about what happens to another replicant. Then you must be a replicant. I'm sure I'm not. How do you know you're not a replicant? Did you ever take that test yourself? Sure I did. Long time ago. Don't replicants go around with false memories? Maybe somewhere along the line you killed a human, took his place, and your superiors don't even know about it. Interesting idea. But I'm still gonna give you the test. Alright, this is the second time I've done this, so I don't really know what any of this means. Um, let's see, replicant reaction gauge, human reaction gauge, okay. Adjust calibration. Uh, that doesn't say what it does. Those are just like the test buttons, I guess. So, yeah, I don't really know what that means. We'll just do it. Okay, or not. Uh, uh, plus five. Oh, button. Okay. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? I don't see why you need to know that. Okay, so she hit that, so that means that maybe I need to bump it up a little bit. Let's put it like right there. What do you do for a living? That's a stupid question. Just calibrating the machine. So the test hasn't started yet? Not yet. Oh, okay. So everyone has a different calibration? It's gonna be the same every time? What's your name? Dectora. Just Dectora? Yes. I mean, that's not so weird because she's in show business. She probably changed her name to just one name because that's what all the cool kids do. All right. You're suddenly very afraid. Why? Do you mean, what makes me afraid? Answer the question. I'm afraid of dying. And of spiders. Me the too! questions. They're disturbing. So what do I do with this? Like, is this supposed to tell me... something? Medi oh, now it says. Medium intensity, high intensity, low intensity. Now I can't move that anymore. Interesting. High intensity. You rent a mountain cabin. On the walls, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. Why would anyone hang a head on the wall? It was a different time then, wasn't it? You saying that makes it okay? Of course not. It's confusing though because both sides go up at the same time. So does that mean it was both human and replicant at the same time? A teacher calls you stupid in front of the rest of the class. I'd stand up to him. Oh, okay, that was more replicant, I guess. Apparently. That's a low one. For your anniversary, your spouse gives you a real goldfish. I cherish it, of course. I've never had a fish, only insects. But fish can be beautiful too. Okay, that was human. What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? Probably this test. No, seriously. Yes, seriously. Are we finished? Almost. Uh, I mean, low intensity questions are working better. When did you stop beating your spouse? Next question. I don't understand this. 
Is this just like how nervous they are or something? That one was like slightly more replicant, I guess? I don't know. High intensity. You're going to die. It may be soon. Death. The grave. Rot. It may be soon. The readouts don't lie. You're scared. Uh -huh. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Now I know you don't write these questions. You don't really expect an answer, do you? Got one. Thanks. Okay. You're crying. Why is that? I suppose I'm unhappy. Perhaps someone has died. I don't cry very often. Describe in single words only the good things that come into your mind about your mother. She did the best she could. That's not a single word. All right. Aggressive. Powerful. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. Hey, where are you going? You're human, so run away. Uh, she go up here? Did I, did I make her all emotional? <laughs> Why did she leave? She gonna go... What? I, don't, I mean, this is... She probably went the other way, but just in case. This, maybe that's what this room was for. I don't know. Um, I just kind of feel like I should search her room since she's gone. she left. That was a bit weird. She didn't even say bye or anything. She's just like, I'm gone. Never seek to tell thy love love that never told can be. Poetry. Was running into a lot of that crap lately. Nothing more to find. Stupid poetry love crap. <laughs> McCoy is not a romantic. Laundries, stuff. Um, nothing else, huh? Okay. Interesting. What is this? All right. Well, maybe she'll be at the other place. Not in the street. She's not here. Can I call her? <laughs> Damn. Uh, all right, whatever. Thank you for following. Pseudonym and abstractism. Welcome, friends. Glad you like it, abstract. Yeah, she can run pretty fast, I guess. I mean, I just feel like I probably could have chased her, but it was just weird how she just kind of bolted for no reason. I also thought it was kind of weird that she said, like, positive qualities about her mom, and the first thing she said was aggressive. <laughs> it's a little strange. Where the heck did she go? Let's 
Go to the place next door. Maybe she's here somewhere. Hey, you see a pretty lady walk by? Be good, you two. Oh my god. She the other lady's here. You're sick, Lucy. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Father told me to watch out for you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Have you always lived on Terra? Yes. I always dreamed Terra would be so special and beautiful. Birds and flowers and trees and blue water. Like on the video. So different from everything on well, where I was. Come with me. I've got a test I want you to take. Help! Help! He tried to touch me! Here we go. I knew it. This a troublemaker? Put your hands on top of your head. No, I can't. I That's have right. to do a chase Ray McCoy, Rep Detect, BR 61661. Never heard of you. I report to Lieutenant Guza. Call him. I work for you. Let's go. Where's your squad car? Shut your mouth. Which precinct are we going to? I'll tell you which one. Oh. Hmm. Okay. This was no precinct house I'd ever been in, and I thought I'd been in them all. The grunt to my right had the beefy harness bull look down pat, and his twitchy partner in the suit looked like he was just itching to chainsaw a couple of kneecaps. Other than that, everything was hunky-dory. Impersonating a police officer, huh? I guess the new Nexus models are a little more creative than the old ones. I'm a Blade Runner. You don't believe me? Call Lieutenant Guza. There ain't no Guza in the LPD. Unless I've been walking around in a dream, there is. That's what always bugs me. Yeah, the fact that these skin jobs always gotta live someone else's life. No shit. Just make the call, damn it. <gasps> You're just a piece of shit rep with memory implants of this Guza guy, you understand? <laughs> That's impossible. Rep ain't sounding so creative now. Huh? You wanna avoid comp me? Be my guest. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good, very convincing. Where you been hiding? The Kipple? Gregorian bring you in? And who else is working that side of the pool these days? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, yeah, what about that Gregorian. bastard selling all that stuff downtown? Hey, shut your trap. I'll tell you something, McCoy. I don't even care how you go out, but I know you can feel the pain. And on that account, I'm your man. You tell me about everyone you met through cars, and I'll guarantee you will go real easy. Your breath smells like you wiped your ass with your teeth. <laughs> Ooh, how would you even manage You're that? You're gonna wish you was neck deep in an off-world reactor vessel by the time I get through with you. Fire up the chair, Holly. You know what I'm gonna come back as in my next life? A priest. Uh, there's something holy about it. How good I am at this. Freeze! Don't even go for it! <laughs> uh, that's a little dangerous considering that's a shotgun. You got any but idea thanks. how glad I am to see you? <laughs> no time for chit chat, Slim. You want to save your ass, we gotta blow this joint right now. <laughs> Uh... Right, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Where did she, where did she go?
Yeah, I agree. That was a spoiler. Thank you, Yogso. What the hell took you so long? Good thing you made your entrance when you did. They must have been phony cops hired by the reps for protection. Cops, yes. Phony, no. I remembered Baker. He used to be an SID expert on coercive technique until he was fired from the force a couple of years ago. Mm. A mercenary? Bingo. He won't have to worry about getting paid no more. That girl, the one from the arcade, she's one of them. You sure? Yeah. I didn't get a chance to put her on the machine. We already knew that. I've been sure since I heard about all those dead animals in Renster's shop. You should have whacked her when you had the chance. Yeah, right in front of all the other children in the arcade. That would have been great publicity. <laughs> I bet she's still there, Slim. You coming or not? Right behind you. She's not still there. Just follow my lead, Slim. Oh, now we're doing the Hall There's of Mirrors. There's all okay. over the place. Yeah, they move pretty fast, don't they? We could, I'll take care you know, of it. You just cover less the Less talking, more running. Who's giving the orders around here? This one's mine, Steel. Oh my I God. track it, <laughs> I get the kill. Got time, you strapped on some balls, Guys. Slim. Go for it. She's like 10 blocks away by now. <laughs> ah, it changes. Wait, I can shoot still. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot at her. Oh, okay. Well, I can't shoot at her from here. I guess I'll just leave then. Commerce is our business. Unless Tyrell can design a faster brain processor, I'm gonna get pretty damn bored with this gig. You don't feel bad about juicing a little girl? She was an it, Slim. Don't you forget that. Let's go find your spinner and report in. Maybe Goose has got some answers about those guys who grabbed you up. It's around here somewhere. Where'd you park it? I'm telling you, it was right here. Damn thing must have been stolen. Maybe you're living in an alternate reality, Slim. Yeah, I feel like that choice is definitely going to have a repercussion. Ray McCoy, formerly DR61661. Confirm one civilian kill. Ezo, considered armed and dangerous. What the hell is that? Maybe they just want to bring you in for questioning. I didn't kill Ezo. Maybe they think you're not what you think you are. Are you saying I'm a rep? Come off it. The look on your face Did after that last Ezo? one. The minute you start to feel something for skin jobs, you're in big trouble. Maybe I just got too much empathy. In all the wrong places. You want to put me on the machine? Hey, I don't want anything, Slim. You're the one they want. Detective Steele, BR61354, report to headquarters immediately. Code blue. What are you going to do? Take me in? No matter what they say, you're not on my list yet, Slim. You know what that means. And there's no use juicing you if I can't make some honest chinion off it, you know? I never appreciated your baser instincts so much. Guza must have messed up somehow. I'll check it out, see what's going on, and then... We'll be meeting again, Slim. You can bank on it. Mm, you got a deal. I'm not sure I trust get her cracking anymore. Before I change my mind. Oh, hi. Um... Okay... Good God! Your old fogey stuff makes me want to spew. Excuse me, but I was listening to music. Geek! Hoodlum! 
door. Freak. There is someone at the door. Speak. I have a return package for Mr. Luther Lance. A return? From where? Emil Lunsiter. Maybe one of the chimps blew a gasket and tried to bugger him. They're not available. Come back later. I told you those strains were unstable. Runciter must have discovered the fakes. Relax. Runciter's a simp. Not even old man Tyrell could have spotted those beauties. 20th century like a real drug man. Who the here? piss do you, you tell think Mr. you Runciter are? That Black we have a strict like a couple no of goddamn policy. cowboys. Ooh. Gentlemen, take a moment to evaluate your situation. Look, there's very little to steal here. If you can haul out one of the statues, be our guest. We look like thieves to you, man? Uh, no. You look like a couple of goddamn... <laughs> Take a good, long look. Aha! Uh -huh. Just the people we were hoping to see, right, Lance? Huh? Nexus 6, and you came to us. Return to you, my brothers, to ask your help. Unfortunately, we don't work for the Terrell Corporation anymore. You've been continuing your research, I trust. Yeah, of course. Something drives us on. The common bond. Can you have greater miracles than these? Brothers, my brothers, take a good, long look. Oh. My. God. Well now, shall we begin? You wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who I was, a cop dangling on the short end of the stick, or a rep whose memory banks had run out. One thing I was sure of was that I didn't kill Izo. That I know I experienced. And this misinformation, maybe it was the key to everything that was happening. Maybe there was a lot more than what met my eye. All I had to do was stay alive long enough to find out. Hmm, I'm thinking he gave them a picture of, like, themselves as replicants, but they were, like, you know, separated. Uh, all right. Welcome, Pale Famine. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Uh, oh. Hmm. back now that we're not in a rush oh hello ah ah what is that ah because i'm thinking maybe this is how we get is that like a rabid rat i don't know i'm thinking this might be how we get to that other place with this with the goo So, um, about 20 minutes left, and I need to end the stream, just so you guys know. Yep. This is definitely what's going on. What's in here first? Um, junk. And something going up. All right. Hi. Anything new with you? 
I hope you get paperwork for all Oh, we- I take that. You can take- I'm discovering all these ways to go down below here. <laughs> Quite interesting. The tunnel stretched for miles. I was sure it came out somewhere, but I didn't have time to find out. Ah, but I want to go in the goo area. Balls. I'm worrying about how how we killed the pink hair girl. That did seem a little weird. Yeah, that's a rat. Ooh. I'd seen chairs like this one before. And not just in my recurring <coughs> dental nightmares. It was an old-time LPD soothsayer, a torture device used to elicit confessions out of hardened criminals. Its use had been banned for 10 years now, but most cops knew it hadn't totally disappeared off the face of the earth. I knew it! Okay, it all connects. Of course, it's the evil lair. <laughs> of course it is. All right, now we can get across. Okay, so we can go that way and that way. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Whoa, 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 okay, how many bullets does it take to kill you guys? Whoa! Holy moly. Maybe I'm not supposed to kill them. I'd seen chair it was an old a tor it's use but most I'm gonna try one more time. Actually maybe I'll go south first. what's down here. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's not a way we can go, so I guess we go over here. going but I don't actually see anywhere else to go so I guess dead end Oh wait, I can go this way. a 
sewer entrance right. If only I could have just freaking went down there in the beginning. <laughs> so basically the sewer just connects everywhere, huh? All right. Okay. Your floor number, please. Yeah, I was right Apartments. on. Apartments. McCoy, 88F. I was being blocked by the game. Yeah, let's go see the pupper. Where's Maggie? Oh. Where's my animal? Oh, shit. Step off, mofo. Ain't no Maggie here. Did you just call me mofo? She was here last night when I left. You got the wrong place, Jack. Hey, man, I live here. I don't know what you're speed loading, and I really don't care. Wait a minute. I got no problem icing you if that's what you want, Jack. Your floor number, please. Apartments. Apartments. Ground floor. Roof. Destination locked. They're mess they're Your trying to mess number, with me. Please. Trying to make me think I'm a replicant. What? Destination locked. What? Your floor number, please. That guy Your will floor actually number, try and kill me. McCoy, 88F. Destination locked. Strange. Your floor number, please. Oh. McCoy, 88F. Destination locked. Strange. Your floor number, please. Interesting. So, I can't access my car. I can't go to my apartment. Am I gonna get in trouble if I walk around? Do I have to use the sewers now? Hmm. Let's try going to the police station. Will they just shoot me? Locked. Pardon me? The police station is locked? I find that hard to believe. Well, guess we gotta live in the sewers. Could be worse. <laughs> I guess. Someone had really torn the place up. If it had been LPD, the real LPD, they would have confiscated the entire stash. Instead, Ezo's off-world weaponry was still there, but all the police issue firepower was gone. A little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. He set up a black market network, moving surplus LPD weapons through Ezo and the Green Pawn. Nothing wrong with a little graft, but when I started stirring the pot, the heat got too intense in the kitchen, and the sweat started coming. The picture was still a little blurry. Guza must have had some connection to Clovis and his group, even though he always claimed to have hated replicants. He wouldn't have helped out any skin jobs unless they had something really juicy to lord over him. Wow, that was a lot of information, McCoy. Hmm. Bullet. Yay. Nothing else there. Nothing else there. So as soon as he walked into this room and, and saw everything different, even though it looks exactly the same, <laughs> he had this epiphany, and now he knows the answer to what's been going on. Guza has framed him. Everything makes so much sense. Oh my gosh. Right. 
feel like I'm gonna get attacked everywhere I go. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. <laughs> Can we join the new camp? Good idea. McCoy, LPD. Thanks for your time. Maybe Bullet Bob is open now. Attention all units, be on the lookout for Ray McCoy, last seen in the four sector. Subject is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, armed and extremely dangerous. Scum sucking skin jobs everywhere. Buh. Okay. <laughs> I'll go back in the sewer then. That's fine. I like the sewer, it's my friend. Well, the only way I haven't gone is this way. That, that I, but I died when I went that way last time. I could try one more time. Oh, they're not here this time. Property. Hi, who are you? Hey, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Hmm, always chasing. That your name? Chaser? Got that big dumb locks out the back of the sushi bar, remember? Small world, ain't it? Oh. Mm, guess so. And again, I ain't the one standing in your living room. I never actually talked to him, though, <laughs> in my playthrough. I just walked by him. This is where you live? You could call it that. You know your way around down here? You got anything to drink? My throat's awful dry. You said another one when I came down the elevator. Not a lot of people. Artificials. How'd you know they were replicants? Are you kidding? I can spot a skin job at a hundred paces in the dark. Describe them to me. Sure you don't got that drink? Maybe later. Well, there's the Japanese guy with the coat and the glasses. Skinny guy, blonde hair, ponytail? Yeah, and uh, the guy with the muscles and the funny hair. Dreadlocks? Right, I've seen him twice. And a two-headed guy and a fat man. Fat man? The one I was chasing from the sushi bar. Nah, the other fat man. You know him, rough voice. Always eating. How many times have you seen the fat man down here? Bunch of times. Last time weren't that long ago. What was he doing? Hmm. Collecting guns like always. Handguns? A blaster like mine? Handguns, rifles, a whole arm full. Took him through that gate. Dumped him in the sewer. They're gone now. You sure you ain't got nothing to drink? Can you describe him? Yeah, rough guy. He barks out orders a lot. Everybody listens when he's around. A natural. 
Let me ask you something. Hmm. Cooked it be. Damn tasty. I'm, I'm talking to you here. Finger licking good. <laughs> Finger licking good. Let me ask you something. Hmm. Cooked it be. I'm, I'm talking. All right. Well, he's not very useful anymore. So Finger replicants come good. down here. There's two ways to go. I don't know who the fat man is. I don't know if we've met him yet. Oh. Okay. Somebody's gonna get dipped in there, I bet. <laughs> There's nothing out here, though. Lovely. I guess I missed. <laughs> I guess I missed pretty bad. <laughs> Welcome to King's Quest 2. Yeah, no shit. But guessing the fat man <laughs> didn't go that way. <laughs> yeah. Hey, another one? Not sure that would have worked out too well for him. Hey. I mm, got this. Mm. This is what you you you, you said a no. how do you describe a shit? maybe well yeah dreadlock no. how many times what? What? Good. Hey, hey. can you describe them yeah. let me ask you mm. Cooked it. I'm I'm talking all right <laughs> save now finger licking good finger licking good <sighs> all right so um. And shoot. There. What smells in here? Oh, gee. I don't know. What could it be? <laughs> oh. No, no, we tried that already. Look, we know that the adenine thymine and guanine cytosine sequences can be mutated in progress. Let's move on. Hey, it's about time you showed up. You know who I am? Detective Ray McCoy. You're investigating Miraji's death. And Eisendollers. Having any luck? You're Luther and Lance? Hell of a smart cookie there. Take your guns and your violence elsewhere. We've got important work to do. Hmm. What are you doing down here? Eldon shafted us, so now we're returning the favor. We promised Clovis we'd be finished with this by the time he got back, is so Clovis if you don't Is Clovis the mind... fat guy, or is Clovis the tall, scary guy? Clovis set me up, didn't he? And he used my boss to do it. He's sharp, this one. Must be the tall, scary no guy. No question. Tell me what you know. How about we trade? Our life for yours. Keep talking. Clovis has gone to see Eldon. But he might not make it. Still, the work will go on with or without Clovis. Get us Terrell's files, the rest of the DNA data, and we'll help you. You want me to break into the Tyrell building for you? You're nuts. Defective, yes. Yeah. Nuts, no. You need us, McCoy. We can serve up Guza's carcass on a big, oversized platter. Wait. 
Is Guzo the fat guy? So Guzo's the Guzo is the boss? Wait a second. Yeah, this is Clovis, right? Zubin, Guzi, Guzo. Yeah. This must be the fat guy. Uh, wow. I know Guzo is my boss, but Guzo is also the fat guy that the homeless dude was referring to who was barking orders, right? Hi, Silver Leaf. I'm just about to stop, but uh, I want to finish this conversation here with these fine gentlemen. What kind of deal did you have going with Runciter? Don't talk to me about it. That was Lance's stupid deal. We just wanted to make some extra cash on the side. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. I'm sure he wasn't too pleased. Since Eldon's such a pain in the ass control freak. Did you meet Clovis through Runciter? It was all just a coincidence. Hmm. Yeah, for some reason I was assuming that Guzo was kind of like below Clovis. But they made it they made it sound like Guzo was like, you know, kind of in charge of things. The reps that killed Marcus and Miraji, they'll be looking for you. You're a little late, detective. They've already found us. So why are you still walking around? Because we're all part of the same suit of cards, you know what I mean? Eldon makes mistakes just like any other human. The difference is. The difference is your bastard doesn't like to admit it. No, he, he covers them up, pretends they're human, gives them a job at a stinking corporation, and then when they actually produce original work, he boots them out on the street. Hmm. You're saying you're replicants? We finally figured it out. Clovis helped us see the light. But that's ridiculous. Tyrell wouldn't design something like you. No. He wants perfection. Ouch. I told you we were a mistake. Keep talking. Clovis showed us our incept photos. Oh. So what? Gotcha. Okay. That's a pretty damn good argument, you gotta admit. Photos can be doctored. It's not proof. Clovis said you'd say that. Clovis thought of everything. Clovis is so handsome. Thank you, Dragon Knight, for the host. Hello, hello. Tyrell says the four-year lifespan can't be extended. Of course he's gonna say that, but he's wrong. Very wrong. We got the research right here that'll prove it. Is it complete? Could you extend the life of a replicant right now? Well, no. The four-year limit is an integral part of every element of the replicant. Terrell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked the secret of the skin. That was Miraji. Sebastian and Chu, they'd know about the central nervous system and the eyes. A lot of retrograde viruses were built into the eyes. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. Did you tell Clovis all this? He didn't ask. He already knew. He knows all about you, too. Where's Clovis now? Gone to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Eldon. Uh-oh. He'll kill Tyrell if he gets to him. Isn't that just too bad? I won't shed any tears. Tyrell is killing us all. Four years isn't enough, is it? If Clovis snaps his neck, it'll be merciful and quick. That's a hell of a lot more than we've been given. I got a little test I want you to take. <laughs> you believe this clown? He just he wants to void Comfus. Sorry, McCoy. Shoot us or leave us alone. Yeah, that was pretty dumb. Let's get McCoy. back to work. Just gonna just say yeah, that was pretty stupid. Stick around. <laughs> I may not be finished with you. Stick around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Trying to be all macho and stuff does not really working. <laughs> Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> that sucks. <laughs> okay. This this butter really sucks. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well, I don't think they're going anywhere. So let's try going up here. Oh wait, there's another room right here. 
Oh, that goes here. Okay, and then that goes back out. So where does this go? Uh, why didn't I just, why did, why couldn't he just find that before? It was right there the whole time. I've gotten all I can from that. Oh my god. Just, McCoy is just so un- oh. Well. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, I might need you in a second. <laughs> okay, but there was one other room back here that I didn't actually check too, and I would like to just see where it goes before I forget it exists. Let me ask you something. Hmm. Looked at me. Damn teeth. I'm, I'm talking. Did I? What was up here again? Bring the licking gun. Oh, right. This room. Okay. There was a... There was a room back somewhere. Maybe it was before this scene. Yeah, I think it was before this scene. This way. Ugh! Oh my gosh. Probably stinks real bad in here. Okay. <laughs> I smell Cthulhu. Nice. Um. Well, we got a whole lot of information. A little light started to flicker in my brain. A little. Yeah, a little light flickered. Do you think I'm a replicant? Is that what this is about? Those little creatures have always been my favorites. Oh yeah, what was this again? Oh, the poem, that's right. What was he doing? Collecting guns. Describe them to me. Well, there's the Japanese guy with the coat and the glasses. Skinny guy, blonde hair, ponytail? Yeah. And uh, the guy with the muscles and the funny hair. Dreadlocks? Right, I've seen him twice. And a two-headed guy. I'd seen chairs like this one Scary before. Chair. And not just in my recurring there were... Positive results. Subject is human. Well, <clears throat> guess this is a good place to stop. I like how many saved games you can have. It's kind of nice. <sighs> yeah, I was just I was just going through the clues I just got. Real quick. I'm going to have to do that next time we play, too, because it's going to be a bit, and I'm going to forget stuff. Oh, yeah, and I picked up some new bullets as well. Does it say how many of these I have? 17 and unlimited. Great! Okay, so let's uh, do the credits really quick before we stop the stream for the day. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. This is, by the way, the final stream for the holidays. Thank you so much, RSOL, for the sax guy bits. Always good to hear that one. It's been a while.